Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a look what a vector definition looks like when it's a vector between two points in space instead of starting at the origin. So we have the first point, point 1, which is defined as x1, y1, and z1, and the second point defined as x2, y2, and z2. Those can be, of course, any numbers, any points in space. And now we draw a line which represents a vector, or an arrow, which represents a vector from point 1 to point 2. And there's our vector A. So our vector A can be defined as follows. It is equal to the magnitude of the x component, the magnitude of the y component, and the magnitude of the z component. And the magnitude is defined as the difference between the x values, the y values, and the z values of the two points. You simply take the x component right here, the x value for the x component, and subtract from that the x value of the x component over here, and so forth. Now, instead of writing it in this format, you could write it like this with the x, y, and z unit vectors, or with the i, j, and k unit vectors. Or essentially, you can again write it as uh, the vector a is equal to the three components of the vector a1, a2, and a3, where a1, a2, and a3 are defined right here. It's simply the difference in the in the position, in the x direction, the y direction, the z direction for the two points. If you want to know the magnitude of the vector, in other words, the length of the vector or the norm of the vector, there's different words used for the exact same thing, simply the distance between the two points. We use the Pythagorean theorem in three dimensions. It's the difference between the x values, the y values, and the z values squared. Add it together, you take the square root, and that will give you the length of the vector, the norm of the vector, or the magnitude of the vector. And that's how it's done when we define a vector between two points in space.